Mayor Whaley. Aye. Commissioners Joseph. Aye. Mims. Aye. Shaw. Aye. Fairchild. Aye. And with tonight's vote, the requirement for a face covering in Dayton is unanimously passed. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley made the announcement a few hours earlier that this was needed to keep everyone safe. They do great work, not just protecting others, but just this regular mask protects you. So I think just the, the, the sheer amount of knowledge that we have around how much this can make a difference and also the increase of community spread in our community are the reasons why this, this action must take place in Dayton. That spread in Montgomery County recently caught the eye of Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and also the White House. Officials in the county note that this spread is rapid. But recently, as things have opened up, we've now gotten up to 43 cases per day on average. And so it's four times higher. When we were wearing masks, when we were maintaining distance, we didn't have that. Officials know and admit that face coverings can be uncomfortable, but they say for the time being, this is just part of what it takes to be a good citizen in Dayton. You know, you need to stop at stoplights. You need to wear shoes on your feet when you go into the grocery store. You need to wear shirts and you need to wear a mask when you're in public. There are some exceptions to the ordinance on situations where you aren't required to wear that mask, but if you're caught not following it, you could be fined $85. The ordinance will officially go into effect Friday morning. Stephen Albert and WLWT News 5.